Agencies across the Twin Tiers conducted their point in time count of homeless people today. The government requirement was conducted across the country as well. A local congressman in our area took part in it by getting a better understanding on the issue of homelessness here in the Twin Tiers. WNY's Logan Wilson shadowed Congressman Tom Reed as he toured Ithaca's homeless encampment, the jungle. It's known as Ithaca's jungle. For years, it's been home to a countless amount of homeless Ithacans. And what appears to be no end in sight for the issue, Congressman Tom Reed took a tour Thursday for a closer look at homelessness in his district. You know, in this day and age, uh, to have a, a homeless problem right in our backyard here in Ithaca in the district is something uh, I'm very uh, deeply uh, concerned about. And uh, we care about these individuals and we want to do what we can uh, to be aware of the situation and meet people like Carmen to try to put solutions together. Congressman Reed toured the jungle with homeless advocate Carmen Giedi. Carmen is the founder of Second Wind Cottages, a transitional housing program for the homeless. He led the congressman through the multi-acre area that just under a dozen people call home. This puts a face. Uh, I can tell the story of Art. Now, we didn't meet Art today. We met Bill, but uh, uh, Carmen told me about our two-tour two uh, Vietnam veteran uh, who is uh, uh, now in Second Wind, but was a, a resident here uh, at the jungle. You know, that, that story resonates. In the fall, Congressman Reed announced renewed funding for local nonprofit programs that prevent homelessness among veterans and their families. Funding is one component is we need to figure out a better way uh, to attack the war of poverty, the, the issue of homelessness, and how do we do that? Um, and it's not a cookie cutter type of solution. Each case is unique. We need to give the uh, folks in the field uh, the flexibility uh, to help these folks out. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not gonna be a one size fits all solution. That's clear to me. Reporting in Ithaca, Logan Wilson, WENY News.